there are a lot of skills involved in being a self-managed artist. Um, so you get the creative side, but I think where a lot of artists are lacking is in that kind of management side and the, the logical thinking side. So if you can manage to do both really well, that's when you're going to have some success. In music, there's no you know big overnight success, usually. Um, it's just a matter of like maintaining a steady increase and that, that's I guess the business aspect of it all. So my song Holy Love, it, uh, I read it a while ago but it's, it's um, a song that kind of developed a lot over time and it's, I guess it's, it's pretty um, self-explanatory when you listen to it, there's kind of only, only one love that won't let you down. I've written a lot more but I guess it's not the stuff that I use commercially so this is a kind of unique mix of commercial gospel. I chose to submit my song Holy Love because it just had that thing. So when we're in the studio, the producer, not a Christian or anything, but he was like, that song, there's something about that song that's just, you know, it's got, it's got that thing. That, uh, it's catchy, it's just, it just had a, a vibe about it. Being a nominee in the Independent Music Awards has definitely increased my status and definitely um, you know, a pinpoint that you can say to people, oh, I was a nominee in the Independent Music Awards. <laughs> and there's so much of that in music. There's so many, like, it, almost eventuated you know and it's just um like pressing in until you get that one you know that one moment where it does eventuate and then hopefully everything kind of rolls a little more smoothly from then i guess for artists who who are maybe afraid to enter awards or competitions um, they shouldn't be it's just another way to get recognized since i was nominated for the independent music awards i uh, i went on tour throughout australia which was fantastic and we had um some really, really cool things coming out of that, including um, we're featured on Rage TV back home and Triple J and B105, which doesn't make much sense here, but it was really good in Australia. And um, then obviously it led to my first trip here. One thing that happens to me is after I do a show, I always have people coming up going, oh, you should audition for X Factor, oh, you should audition for Australian Idol. And um, I don't know, for me personally, I do music um, to say something and it's about the writing of the music and being an artist whereas those shows I feel are kind of about money and fame which are not the two reasons that I do music. I love what I'm doing and I love um, giving everything that I've got to try and live my dream and you know these um, these things that I hold dear to my heart because I, I see people you know complaining about the jobs they're doing and you know, they get annoyed at people who are living their dreams. It's like, hey, you're in control of your life. You know, maybe it means you'll eat cereal for a week like me, but <laughs> at least I'm singing, you know, I'm doing what I want to do.